I woke up about an hour and a half ago. One thing I love about waking up around six in the morning or just before six is I feel like I don't have to rush. Like I can be unproductive and look up and still have plenty of time before my actual day starts, before my nine to five starts. If you watch my morning routine about seven months ago, this one's a lot different. I think the main reason is because it's summertime. I'm just in a different space now than I was then. I'm training for a half marathon. The last few months I've been working on weight loss. So my morning routine has changed quite a bit. So I always make sure in the morning that I have at least a glass of water as the first thing I consume. I definitely am not one of those people that wakes up in the morning and needs to have coffee to function. When I was closer to 200 pounds, a few months ago, I started taking intermittent fasting more seriously because my goal was to lose 15 pounds and I lost about 10 to 12 pounds, depends on the day. And one way that really helped me lose that weight was intermittent fasting and replacing my coffee with creamer with just black coffee. So Lee said I should try this out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So instead of just doing a bunch of B-roll, I'm gonna do like a combination of me talking while I'm actually doing the thing that I said I was gonna do, which is make some green tea. I promise you, one thing I definitely notice is having the right tools make a huge difference in terms of staying consistent with your routine. Getting this electric kettle has made it so much easier for me to make tea or like coffee in the morning. So I'm curious how many of you all have like a specific mug that you use for like coffee or tea. I love using this mug for black coffee and like green tea. And this is my favorite mug when it comes to making coffee with creamer. And that's pretty much it. I'm curious though, comment down below if you guys have specific mugs for specific drinks in the morning. I can't be the only one. So I made it down to the gym. Today is day one of my Nike Run Club training. I think I have like 27 days exactly into my half marathon and I've only ran like three or four times the last two weeks because I've been under the weather and we've been traveling. But today's just like a 15 minute run. And then I'm gonna do this David Goggins workout called Nickel and Dimes. Star chosen, star chosen. I just finished up the nickel and dime workout. One thing I love about that workout is it not only tests my strength, but it also tests my cardiovascular health. Man, it's so hard to do that many push-ups and pull-ups in 10 minutes. I also have to admit, I didn't actually finish my running because it's such a beautiful day. I figured I'm just gonna run outside. Now I have been getting up earlier just because I noticed that it's much easier for me to get ahead of my to-do list by waking up earlier opposed to working later on at night. And I think the main reason is because in the morning I have way less emails to respond to. And the sense of urgency to send out emails and respond is much less than later on in the day. So I haven't done a morning routine in like seven months. And my last morning routine 
went, I'd call it like semi-viral with around half a million views, which was really unexpected. I have this weird quirk as a creator where I feel like I can't post the same video for like six months at a time, or I can only post similar videos at like six months at a time for the most part, unless it's like to set up content. Really, those are the only like searchable videos. I'll spam for real, but it's been seven months since I made that video and I feel like I should be doing a morning routine every season, especially since my morning routines change all the time. They definitely change based on the season. I've been up for so long, guys. I kid you not, like this is the first time I've been on the computer. Like it feels like I've worked like a full work day and it's still morning. Like that's crazy. Piscina 